Hello everyone! Have you ever wanted to make a super cool design in Canva but struggled to fit that awesome code or title you love? Well, that's where splitting comes in and it's a very nice technique you should totally add to your Canva uh, design skills. Splitting text basically means breaking your words up into different sections and it's very nice to learn. It's, it's you know, very interesting. Uh, technique to learn so let's jump right into this video and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe for more tutorials so now let's go here text add text by the way you also can let's say you are in design when i show you a, a tip press t and you add text shortcut so i'm gonna write here large and i'm gonna change this to this text to this font sorry Actually, this one I don't like. Let's change it to this one. And now I'm gonna increase the size of this text. Move it here. I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna go to position and move it in center and middle. All right, you can also right click and align to page. Yeah. Now what we're gonna have to do is to go to save. And unfortunately you need a pro version if you want to download because we have to download with transparent background. Uh, that's with lower we don't have to but also need to use SVG best for web design and animation so call also transparent background and click on download now now so now I just drag and drop I dragged this and dropped it here I paused by a mistake actually and now I have uh, this I have this and I can click on here to add a page and I have now this uh, SVG and the advantage of SVG if I click on this there is no edit like a photo but if I click on this now I have this option to edit so I can edit basically this image and this is great for many effects you can create a lot of effects using this trick if I can say trick yeah kind of a trick strategy <laughs> You can use effects here, but you don't have um, you don't have edit image because this image is considered. Um, so you know, if I let's say add uh, something behind, and I move this in front, uh, you don't have any any background. So that's why it's it's good to have this uh, camera pro, so you can import with a transparent background. So now, what we have to do, we're gonna have to go to crop here, and you can crop this like this. So now what are we gonna do? I'm just gonna use the free form. You can use this too, but I actually don't have to. You should use free form for this effect. Move it here. Drag it like this. Click on done. And now hold alt and drag so you can duplicate. Use some colors, bright, bright colors. All right, all right. Now just move it exactly where he was and click on crop and now you drag this down drown down down and this drag down and now you can see you know that is here the space now it's close to each other just done 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 and now we have this portion and this portion and now maybe we can move this using the arrows arrows up and down left and right is moving hold and is moving it's quite nice like this we can now go maybe to crop again and add some rotation but that should be done like when you start with the first one but i didn't want to add rotation that's why i didn't show you so I'm sorry. Now I can highlight both control plus G to group and you can click on here to ungroup and now you can rotate, move this the way we want. Or we can ungroup as I said and position the way we want. So that's how you split your text all right so i hope you found this helpful now i can uh, grab canva 
icon here and maybe create a background wave generator no we need a background gradient actually and this way you can create a gradient for our for our splice add some noise because it's important to add uh, you know behind the design this design if you leave it like this is too simple to be quite honest with you so this is about gradient canva i'm gonna add this logo you don't have to of course and now i'm gonna add this logo here i have this text here now to so be honest that this is not um, a good font for this effect for this effect this is not a good font to be quite honest you can add this outline but you know actually it's not really worth it to add that online and now well, let's look for color here and here for color and now let's click on add to design and set image now we can change the color for um, this and for this can click on here and pick this color and pick this color looks good uh, i don't know it's not really something so my train of thought when i'm creating a design is i'm um, positioning myself as the viewer thinking which and also i'm asking questions of course which is the first thing the viewer should look like or should grab their attention the first thing that the viewer will look at this and will grab their attention is i want first the text so i'm gonna make it large then they should look they should see the background which the way this colors is not really a good background but just because it's too bright and it's really takes the attention from this slice to looking at this background you know what i'm saying so i have to decrease this background now the colors i don't think it's perfect but i don't think it's that much of a problem if i'm decreasing the brightness so let's decrease the brightness contrast it's fine shadows is fine highlight maybe for here a little bit and now i'm gonna use control and then arrows and then i'm gonna add here actually i don't have to but and, and by the way i just remember something let's see if i find what i'm looking for well i can't find that thing so it doesn't matter now what i'm gonna do here we need text we have our text we have our this splice effect this sliced effect oh and i have an idea for this so i can use an arrow arrow up up and down like this to show there is down there is you know this part is up and down you know something like this i still don't think this is a good a good phone for this affair i don't know looks weird but it's fine it does the job you know but what we can add to this oh i was talking about this one here sliced you can also use this one but you know that is not that best you know i mean it's fine you can see offset and uh, add maybe one and then position but you can't add a gap between this slice 
So that's the downside. But now what I want to add is okay I can't find it apparently oh so uh never mind it's fine so now this is oh, now I can see I don't know what's I'd like to actually add some shadow but it's not working I don't know why anyway so I have this now to finish this design start this design is I'm just thinking uh, now how to position this and this is the crease a little bit here let's add some elements so i can darken this part clouds would we need clouds that's the question well we don't need really need any clouds how clouds would make the design better but um i hope you find helpful while I'm designing and my how I'm thinking I'm trying not to separate more I think the background is too bright uh, again maybe with some design uh, of course now I can also go here to uh, and also if you have any tips you know I would really appreciate it I don't, know, I don't have any problems obviously if you give me some feedback tips whatever you want to call it and uh, you already see if I'm decreasing it looks better already and uh, now what I need what will make this design more eye-catching what can I do better what can I do better do I need mock mock um, mock-ups nope I don't need mock-ups mock-ups so I have this now up and down and what i need for this also something a rule that i know is use simplify your design don't make it too complicated that's for sure if i will add this will take your focus from this uh slice effect so that's not a good idea i can use these dots but again i don't think will make this any better i can use this lines here i used it before other designs even in my thumbnails and decrease of course the transparency and now zoom out control and move this i don't i don't i want this to be in your for uniform also i'll delete that and alt and drag mm, this gives a nice look so I think this is too bright. I mean, I want this to be important, but it's too bright quite. And now for uh, for our image is fine there. I can hold shift to select let me know in the comment section if you found this helpful if you have any questions and i'll see you in the next video take care